Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hey, look, some ideas are so smart, it's hard to believe that no one ever thought of them before. This here is one of those ideas. If you ever mowed the lawn or thought, there has to be a better and easier way to do this, guess what? You were right. There is a better way to do it. You can just rent some lambs to do it for you. A new company lets you hire lamb mowers instead of lawn mowers. Corey Suter is the owner of lambmowers.com. He's based in Fairfax County, and Corey joins us now to explain. And you have your labor force behind you, Corey. How is it no one has thought of this? You've got to tell me about your inspiration and the market demand for lamb mowers. Ah, oh, thanks so much, Will. I don't want to go out too much on a lamb here. Uh, I don't know if you wanted me to ram through some bad sheep. Oh, God, uh, but I'm really honored to be on your show. <laughs> We're glad to have um, you. We're glad to have you, you know, here on Tucker Carlson tonight. Go ahead. I want to hear this. I have a ton of questions about though your workforce there and their appetite. Yeah. Well, Will, we are the only licensed and insured landscaping company that also gets invited to kids' birthdays and evening wine parties. We also have a lot of customers that just hire us to get rid of the weeds. And that's what makes me so passionate about what I do. I got into landmowers.com because I care about conserving soil and water resources for future generations. And uh, my sheep I uh, do a wonderful job of putting organic matter back in soil where it belongs. Um, is it, uh, is that, and I have a, a lot of happy customers. <laughs> is, <laughs> it brings people a lot of joy to have sheep in their yard. Putting organic matter back into the soil where it belongs. Is, is that mean I have to hire like a, a poop pickup service after you mow my lawn with the lambs? You fertilize as you, as you cut the lawn? <laughs> So my sheep do provide some biodegradable fertilizer pellets. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, if you're putting the lawn clippings back on the lawn, that's what our soil needs. You know, all of our soils here in the U.S. used to have over 8% organic matter. And now we're back down to only um, around half a percent in a lot of our farmland. And that just means there's not a lot of nutrients left in that soil to feed us. It, it fuels the obesity epidemic in the U.S. to have uh, soils that are depleted of nutrients and organic matter. Yeah. And so I'm really passionate about uh, soil health and, um, you know, doing land mowers is one way I help educate people about that. Well, I've actually read a lot about that recently. Corey, to your point, the soil has lost a lot of its nutritional value through industrial farming and widespread use of chemical fertilizer. And as we point out, you're giving back. And I'm going to tell my wife the same thing when I don't pick up in the backyard. I'm giving back to the soil right now. But, but Corey, really quick, the names. <laughs> That's right. La lazy gardening <laughs> is great. The names, of, the names of your workforce behind you. Can you introduce me to a few of them? Sure. So right here in front of me, I think this is Oreo. Okay. And then, um, okay, yeah, you, you can't see that. So do you see Snowy here, the cutest little lamb? Yeah. And then right behind her is her mo mother, uh, Chocolate Chip. Behind that's ice cream. I'm picking and, up a theme. And um, it looks like, oh, okay, yes, uh, my kids help name the sheep. And uh, <laughs> I, we I, I see. really have a lot of fun. Um, uh, um, Corey, we got a little bit delay. That's why one of my uh, kids named a sheep Monster Truck. <laughs> so that must have so been. We call him Monty for sure. I hate to, I hate to to enforce gender stereotypes, but that must have been one of your sons. Um, the the, uh, the Corey, I'm 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 seeing the before and after pictures of of your workforce there and what you've done in the backyards of many overgrown neighborhoods. Your your lambs eating through what no lawnmower or weed eater can make their way through. So it's a fascinating business. It's an opening in the market. It's giving back, as you point out to the planet, and uh, we wish you and Marshmallow and Oreo and Monster Truck all, all the best uh, in, in your business, lamb mowers. Thank you, Corey. Oh, uh, thank you so much for supporting a local small business. I really appreciate you having me on the show, Will. You bet. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.